Right now, I'm going to teach you animals that live in the wild. Or most of these are animals that live in a forest. See, tree, lots of trees, forest. The first animal we're going to talk about is a bear. I took this picture at the Fort Worth Zoo. So this animal lives at the zoo and he is a bear. So claw hand shapes crossed over your chest, bear. Sometimes people get this confused with monster, okay? But you cuddle a bear, right? Like if you have a teddy bear, you can cuddle him because you love him. Monsters, not so much, unless it's Sully, right? But other than that, not, not so much. Buffalo, it's a Y hand shape, palm in, and it makes circles. I took this picture at Yellowstone National Park. So that's a wild buffalo out there. Okay, bull is palm out because his horns turn this way. Buffalo is palm in because his horns tend to turn back. So those are easy to get confused. Buffalo. Also the sign for Haltom High School because that's their mascot. Next is a fox. F hand shape because he's got a small snout, right? He's got a, a pointed little nose. Fox. It's also an F hand shape. Fox. Next is a wolf because he's got a long snout. Wolf. Don't get that confused with sleep. Sleep comes straight down. Wolf comes straight out. Wolf. Next one is a deer because he's got antlers. Deer. Five hands, palm out. Kind of bounce on your temples there. Moose, he has bigger antlers, so they come out this way. Moose. Next we have a porcupine. Porcupine, because he has quills that stand up. I have also seen that sign for hedgehog. Most people don't have a pet porcupine, so that, that kind of clears it up there. Squirrel. So bent V hand shape, palms together, and they kind of bounce together this way, squirrel. Next we have dinosaur, dinosaur. There are different signs you'll see. I've also seen dinosaur, more like a brontosaurus. This picture here is of Sue. He is a T-Rex that was found in South Dakota. He's now on display at the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, so that's what this picture is here, dinosaur. Next is kangaroo because of the way they hop. This is Louise. I took this picture uh, out my friend's backyard in Australia. The sign is Australia. And you can see Louise lives in a forest as well. Well, like I said, this is kind of on the patio, but she lived in a forest. Next we have possum. Possum. They can hang from their tails, they don't like to, but in an emergency they can do that because they use that tail to hold on when they're walking on things like branches. And the last in this section is a skunk. Skunk, so a lion was a claw hand shape. Skunk's very similar but has a K hand shape because of the white stripe down their back. And that's it for animals that live in the forest.